Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, if you are following me on Instagram, you will see uh, I have some posts there of photos that are animating where it has that uh, parallax effect. Um, yeah, and today uh, I'll be showing you uh, one way of creating that kind of uh, effect for your photos to make your photos come to life um, where we'll be using uh, Photoshop and Adobe Premiere. Um, so uh, yeah, I had uh, some comments on on Instagram like asking me how how I did that uh, there is a, a more advanced way using After Effects but today I'll show you uh, the much simpler way to uh, to create that using Photoshop and Adobe Premiere like if you have a, a basic knowledge in Photoshop and Adobe Premiere you can follow on this uh, uh, tutorial so uh, if you guys are ready let's get this started okay this is the image that uh, we're going to be working on. They're usually uh, the best image to, to work on if you want to create a parallaxing effect. It's an image with a clean background, which is, uh, this one is not a good example, but um, it's not too busy either. So uh, I think uh, we can work on this. We'll start uh, inside Photoshop. We need to, to separate our subject, the trees, and our farthest background and separate them into layers. So let's work on the on our subject first by um, by choosing um, the pen tool, which is right here, or keyboard shortcut is uh, just press P. Okay. So um, with pen tool, uh, all you have to do is click and drag. If you're not comfortable with pen tool, uh, you can also use uh, other selection tool like uh, the polygonal lasso, but I find the pen tool the easiest and more precise when it comes to selection. So for this video, I'll try to do as, to do the, the selection as fast as I can. Right now, I'm just clicking and dragging. Okay, so we're done with the pen tool selection. Um, now all we have to do is right click and make a selection. Since this is just a 12 megapixel uh, image, because I shot this with Sony A7S, which is 12 megapixel. So I think uh, a feather tool is good enough. Okay, once you have the selection, um, click any of the, the selection tool here either the marquee tool or the, the polygonal lasso tool. Just click that so that when we go back to our selection and right click it, if you have this option layer via copy, click that. And then if you will notice, we, have, we were able to create a new layer here, which is the, the selection that we did. So if I option click the, the eye icon here, so this is our selection, but uh, I noticed that we still need to, uh, to remove this, this part right here. Okay, so let's go back to our pen tool and make sure that we are in this layer. So Then right click again, make a selection, uh, a radius of uh, 2 pixels is okay, set the radius and then this time we'll just delete this, so press delete, go, oh. and then command D to deselect, so we need to remove this, this area right here too. Right click again to make a selection and then press delete, command D to deselect, there you go. 
So this is our uh, first layer, which is our foreground layer, which is our subject. Let's rename this. Double click it. Okay, let's rename this foreground. And then uh, let's go back to our original layer and duplicate it, pressing Command J. So this time we need to uh, let's turn off this uh, foreground layer first. This time we need to remove our foreground selection on this duplicate. So all we have to do is, yeah, skip pen tool. This time we they don't need to be really close to those edges because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a uh, content aware fill, which is a really good tool here in Photoshop. So right click, make a selection, two pixels, okay, and then go to uh, edit, oh wait, because we're not on the right layer, let me select the layer where we should be working on. So press edit and then choose content aware. You click that, the window will come out and then it will give us a preview of how clean it is. Okay, so press OK and Command D to deselect. So we were able to remove our subject, which is now in a separate layer, which I named foreground. So with this, we can already work on it and do the, the animation so we can create that um, moving uh, image. But I'm thinking like uh, maybe we can create another layer just for these trees. Let's see how we can work on that. Let's duplicate this. Uh, let's name this uh, trees. Oh no, no, just background. Name this background two. Maybe we can duplicate this command J and then challenge here is how we can select these two trees on these both sides. Um, maybe we can use the select color range. Let's try that. Okay, and then click it. In this area right here. Let's open up. Add in a little bit. With a better selection. And then press OK. So now we have the selection of those trees. It's not gonna be perfect, but at least, you know, as long as it looks like a tree selection. Okay, and then maybe we can uh, choose the marquee tool just to refine the selection. So on top here, let's click that. So we can feather this, smoothening, okay, contrast. I don't know, I'm just playing with it, but uh, yeah, I think it has a it's a better selection so let's press ok you don't need to do this like uh, we could just work in two layers but uh, I just want to give this a try maybe it will work to make this uh, much cleaner maybe we can use the quick mask mode to uh, create a high contrast on our selection pressing command L let's see this will create a better selection yeah okay yeah Let's see if it's gonna be going to have that clean uh, look. So let's click this again to go back to our selection. Let's press um, let's click our marquee tool and then right click and choose layer by a copy. And let's click our three. Yeah, it's all right. So now all we have left is we need to work on our farthest background. So we need to eliminate this trace right here. Let's see if our content aware field will work on this. So let's choose our pen tool. Let's make a rough selection. Okay, then right click, make a selection, go to edit, content aware field. Yeah, let's try. That's okay. Okay, and then deselect. Let's bring back our three, then our foreground. Have a decent selection. Yeah, I think that's all right. Let me check the background again. Yeah, that's okay because it will be covered by the by those trees on the side. Anyway, we'll be using these three layers that we've created. Let's delete the layers that we'll not be using, and then let's save this. As a PSD file, Photoshop file. 
let's name this um name this parallax okay so now that we're inside the uh, adobe premiere uh, let's import the photoshop file that we created to file import we need to import this as layers so uh, let's choose individual layers and that's okay let's click that and these are all the three layers that we've created so now let's create a new sequence uh, let's just create a 1080p 24 frame sequence let's name that parallax effect so now let's drag the layers let's start with the with the background first the trees foreground or the subject video three maybe we can create a uh, 15 seconds video with this so let's select all the layers and extend it all the 15 seconds press shift to select all of them drag it so now um our image is uh a lot bigger than our sequence so let's resize it start with the background so 50% so we have we need to apply all of those our layers and we need to move this up a little bit because yeah, it's too low nope. 85. 85. 85. So we have to do that with all the layers. Okay, so we can have that um, parallax effect. We need to uh, animate this uh, either by resizing it or moving its position. But each layer will move in a different way. Uh, with this one, let's let's do. Um, make the subject uh like zooming in so we're gonna resize it let's do an animation with a scale so let's let's click our foreground layer and click scale right now it's in 50 percent and then let's go all the way at the end of our footage and maybe let's resize this to um percent there you go yeah, maybe we can animate the position also because here it's in 385 let's click stopwatch the position and here let's um, move this up around 290 okay so let's see the animation yeah, it's it's better to create a saddle uh, movement to it, but for the for this uh, tutorial purposes, I'm trying to exaggerate the animation more. Okay, sixty percent. And then next is the tree. The tree is not that far from our subject, so maybe um. The animation of that is almost the same as the, the subject, but probably just a little bit lesser. So let's start with the scale. And right now it's in 50%. From 50, maybe it will animate to 55. Let's try. See that. Okay. Let's see. 50. 55. And then with the farthest background, let's do the opposite. It will start from, let's say, 65%. So let's start with 65% and then going back to 50. Let's just stopwatch, 65%. Okay, I think 
think the tree, uh, we can start also with the tree in a bigger size and then it will shrink a little. So let's start with maybe 55%. Then the end of it, it will become 50. See that? How is that going to look like? Okay. If we want, we can exaggerate that um, effect by making this a bit bigger to 65%. And then to the three, let's start with 60. And with the background, let's start with 70. And see. There you go. So that's just one way of creating this effect. You can also work on After Effects when you can add more uh, more styles and effects like even particles. And that's it guys. That's how you create a parallax look on your photos and make them come to life um, animating it uh, using Photoshop and Premiere. And uh, yeah, uh, if you like that video, uh, press that like button and you can subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next video. Okay, bye.